Okay, this, uh, this is how you do a nozzle flow check. So once your system's up, ready to go, you want to test to make sure every row is running, do a wet test on it. So once the system is on, we want to go into cow mode. So we hold the cow button until the red light comes on. When that red light comes on, uh, if we're set under rate, we want to adjust our rate. So whatever rate you want to do your test at. So let's just say we want to do five gallons an acre as our test. So we can hit the plus or minus button and set it to five gallons an acre. And then we'll turn the controller to speed. And this is where we're gonna put our test speed in. And you can put any test speed you want if you're doing you know, four miles an hour, five miles an hour, whatever you, you wanna test it at. Simulate what you're gonna be doing in the field. You set your speed there. Once that's set, and it's the cows flashing, it's telling us with the red light that it's in calibration mode. This is gonna simulate the running of five and a half miles an hour, but we're actually gonna do the actual of five gallons an acre. It's in auto mode, we wanna make sure it's in auto, not in manual, because if it's in manual, you'll have to manually throttle it. But we want it in auto, and then we're gonna push it from run to hold, excuse me, from hold to run. And you can see there that our rate has locked in on five and we're going five and a half miles an hour and when you do the math that's putting out 1.98 gallons per minute we can simulate speed going up and down so if we wanted to speed it up we can speed up our speed here and it'll it'll also increase our gallons per minute so we can, this is a good time to set it up get out and make sure all your plumbing is correct there's no leaks there's no, every row is flowing equally. And then if you find a leak, all you have to do is come back, put it in hold, leave it in hold, and go fix your leaks, come back, turn it back on, and it'll pick up right where it left off. And you can also, you need to change your rate, you wanna try a different rate, you put it in hold, go out of calibration mode, go back in, and you can set your rate. Once you set your rate, you go back because it'll always erase the speed because it's a test. And then you can set your, your uh, speed back up. Run it. And there it is locked back in. Very simple.